and welcome. It's Coach Manny, and as always, I'm fired up, right? Ready to roll. Excited you're here with us today. Excited you're ready to take your business to the next level. And this is kind of an intro and to the whole conference and what we're going to do here and what we're going to talk about. But before we do that, I was taught that it's really important you need to know who, who is this guy? Who is this guy who's talking to us out there? Who is this guy who's presenting to us today? What, why should I listen to him? Well, as my friend James Mack Malachek says, been there, done it, and doing it. And if you're listening to people who have been there and done it, that's wonderful, but if you're not doing it today, if you're not out there trying to build something today, then and things change so much, then are you really going to be able to teach me anything? So I, I just want you to know that I've been there, I've done that, I've been down through many of those roads. I'm going to give you kind of a history as to where we've been, what we've been through, and kind of just teach you a few things today as we open up. How's that? I hope you're all excited about that, because I know I am. So, let's take me back to my background. So, where did this guy come from? Was I in this uh, beautiful cake, everything going well all the way? No. I was kind of that bad boy thing, that bad kid in high school, always in trouble, never in school, always out there doing something, making something that I shouldn't be doing, right? And four days after graduation, I was in the United States Marine Corps. Now, it was the most life-changing event that I had experienced up to that point in my life. Absolutely no doubt about it. That's what it was. But it was also, what, what am I doing here, right? I think that's, that's kind of... Um, what you experience. If you watched any of those movies like uh, Full Metal Jacket or some of those old movies where the bus pulls into Paris Island, South Carolina, and this big, ugly, terrible looking guy comes on the bus and he's got shoulders this wide and he's got a hat and he looks mean and he says, get off the bus, get off the bus. It really does work that way. <laughs> so, you go from kind of getting the crap scared out of you and being pushed down and knocked down and going through the toughest experience in your life, especially for a kid who was just way out of line, to becoming a Marine. And it was a life-changing event. And I spent three years in the Marine Corps, and it was a tremendous time. I, I really probably didn't think it was that tremendous at that time, but it has changed my whole life. And... From there, success happened. I went to college. I finished four years in three. And then I continued to roll on. I got out of college. It was the end of the 70s. The computer industry was rocking. And everything's moving ahead. And everybody's excited. And I had four jobs in four years because you could move literally. Change jobs every six months. People were so much looking for you. In fact, in a local um, Philadelphia newspaper... I think there were 12 pages of information systems ads, late 70s, early 80s. Everybody's looking for you. So I, I went into the software development business. I had a good time. I did tremendously well. I ended up in consulting. And then I, we actually put together our first company in the 80s. We did okay, but it kind of fell apart after that. And so I went to work for Boeing for a little while. And Boeing is this big company, but, you know, I just transitioned. Lose this, put this together, go from here. Everything's rolling. Life is beautiful. And you know, when you're on top, things are great, right? So I worked for Boeing for a few years, but, you know, I really had this desire. And, you know, people are in the company, and some of you out there may be in that big company, and it's pulling you and saying, you're crazy. What do you mean you want to do your own thing? And that's what a lot of people told me, but I, I had to go out. Entrepreneurship is just in the blood. And some of us are just 
that's where we want to be. That's where we got to be. So I left after about four years and started my own company. And I did it because I had relationships. And I think that's part of what we're going to talk about at the conference that is so important. I had relationships that I had built. And I think it's very important that you understand those relationships are not just relationships that you build in person. The relationships today that you build through all the social media. Building relationships hasn't changed. The media has changed in some ways. The medium that you use. But relationships are still, I do business with people I like. And so do you. All things being equal, we do business with people we like. Isn't that what they say? And all things not being equal, we still do that. So back to the story. So in the 90s, I hooked up with a partner and a good friend of mine, and we were doing um, sales systems for large companies. You know, our, our motto really, you know, we can come in and do it for 10% and 10% of the time, and we can really make it happen for you. And people got excited, you know, and we did some tremendous business. Again, things are rolling. We're getting into some big companies. We're doing tremendously well. Then we bought a software company, which was a client of ours, medical software, where we book a good, big, big contract for one of the states. We are, we're on that upswing. And then I took a job for one of my clients, actually, because all this is working over here, and it's just, it's not really a job when you work at certain levels. It's an opportunity. So I get this great opportunity to come in and take this company that's dying who had been a leader in the industry and had kind of fallen off. And I have an opportunity to move them back. In fact, we took that company from $9 million to $16 million in 18 months. And we did it through re rebuilding the relationships that were there for years. It was amazing. And we were growing. So here's a software company on the rise. Here's the... Here's this uh, trade show company I'm working for on the rise. Everything's going well. And then 9-11 hit. And I want to tell you, the day before 9-11, our trade show company was doing a million and a half, two million a month, and just really rose. Our software company was growing. We were doing so well. Then 9-11 crushed us. And after 9-11, we were doing zero. Did a lot of work in New York, lost the peers, nobody's traveling. In fact, I don't know if that industry is ever going to recover to the point where it was pre-9-11. And so I worked there for a little, a few more, a couple more years, I guess it was, and not even, and things were really dying. We didn't know what to do, so I left there. That was falling apart. Meanwhile, you know when things start to come down that hill? That's just what happened. And, and then the software company starts to fall apart. We lose contracts. We lost some big, one of our big state contracts. We had to lay off people. We, had to, we were just falling apart. And that's what happens. You know, so all of a sudden, from everything rolling like, like just beautiful, and I know some of you out there have been there. I know that's why you're here today. Because you know you can get back on that train. And you can make it happen. So...